Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day vlog style video. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button to let me know because today's video is going to encompass more so regular things I eat in a day. But if this series is something that interests you, I would love to create more themed days. For example, the French cooking like I've talked about so many times that I've promised that I will show you. <laughs> that could be incorporated in a what I eat in a day totally French themed for example. I'm still experimenting with things on this channel and I really want to show you bits and pieces of my everyday life. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I like to start off every morning with a coffee and if you have watched my vlogs, you will know this fact about me. I really like coffee but right now I'm trying to stick to one coffee a day, sometimes two coffees, but I am trying really hard to just stick to one. As you will see later in this video, I actually make some of my almond milk at home. If you've watched previous vlogs, you know that I have bought almond milk from the store, but I have discovered the beauty of making almond milk at home and how easy it is and how it actually makes your coffee taste richer and creamier. This has been my go-to breakfast lately, just some plain yogurt. You will see me making this homemade yogurt later on in the video. And I also like to top it off with nuts and seeds as well as fruit and I dabble a little bit of maple syrup on top. So a lot of the food that you're going to see me consume is based off of like high fertility um, hormone balancing food. So I have done a lot of research over the past few months and especially since I had my miscarriage over a month ago and I'm really trying to get my hormones back on track so that um, in case we do get pregnant in the near future, I am ready for that. My body is in optimal health. I did want to add that if you are not in the same stage of life as me, you can definitely still eat this way. I think that a lot of the foods that I choose to eat right now are superfoods and can help you on whatever health journey you are on. <laughs> Would it be a Cynthia L video? especially a vlog style video if I didn't show you putting on my apron. No, it would not. So I'm putting on my apron here, my favorite one for summer, and I'm showing you this lovely cup that my friend Brielle got me. And it's been great to use to keep track of the amount of water that I drink during the day because I'm trying to drink much more water lately. So now I'm starting off the almond milk process. I'm just taking out some dates that I like to add to the milk as well as vanilla. And I'm going to prepare my almonds by letting them soak for a few hours. You can do this overnight. And I also wanted to mention that if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button. It helps reach other women. And I also wanted to thank you for being here as always, especially the subscribers that continue to watch my videos. You are all amazing.
Today's video is just to show you a few simple things that I eat regularly. I'm not showing you anything extravagant in today's video, but I just want to start off if I'm going to make another one of these videos by showing you the basics first. That being said, one of the things that I eat very often, almost every single day, is hummus. And I realized that there really wasn't a point of me buying hummus at the store anymore because it is so easy to make. Now instead of telling you the exact ingredients of everything that I use, because I'm going to be honest, I eyeball a lot of these recipes since I have done them countless times, I'm going to link down below the Pinterest recipe that I use and I also recommend that you follow me on Pinterest if you're looking for more like informative pictures about being a housewife and I do have a few pictures on there that are aesthetically pleasing but I try to fill my Pinterest with a lot of information so if you like those kinds of boards feel free to follow me. I had to include this funny clip of me struggling with the food processor and there's also going to be another one of me struggling with the blender because for some reason every time I turn on my camera to do a vlog it seems like I have issues with the appliances in my house and at this point it's just very comical and I don't know what it is. Maybe the camera makes the appliances shy or maybe um, it's making me fumble. <laughs> So I guess the trick to creamy hummus, let me know if you know otherwise, but it is to add a little bit of water periodically throughout the process of blending food processing your hummus. So I will usually eat my hummus with vegetables as well as maybe some naan bread or a few crackers, you will see in a few minutes. But I also wanted to show you a picture of another go-to lunch that I have been making in batches, which is a lentil soup. I'm also going to link the recipe down below to everything that I talk about in this video. Another clip of me having some difficulty connecting the blender, but I also wanted to show you on a side note this awesome blender that I believe is from the 70s, so I'm still going strong on my 70s obsession trend, <laughs> but I think that the colors are so cute.
So like I mentioned before, there are different ways to get a smoother consistency with the almond milk. I don't mind if it's a little bit thick, but you could just continue the process again with another cheesecloth or of course you could blend it for longer or soak your almonds for a longer amount of time. If you haven't jumped on the Method Granite countertop cleaner trend, then you really must because it smells absolutely amazing. And maybe one day if my channel grows, um, they can sponsor me because I've already given them a few sales. I've had several of you comment to me and send me messages that you bought it. It smells divine and it works great. All right, so I have to show you what I would normally eat if I was working out that day. This is the next day and I decided to go on a walk plus do an at-home workout, so I tend to opt for fats. Now I'm showing you this wood plank because we are going to make pistachio crusted salmon, but instead of baking it in the oven since it's summer, I thought I would try it on the barbecue and it actually turned out pretty decent. So if you're thinking of taking the recipe and cooking it on the barbecue instead of in the oven, I recommend doing it because it tastes very good. Side note, I totally forgot how expensive pistachios were. When I went to buy these at the bulk food store and I was checking out, I definitely did a double take on how expensive they are, but I don't know about you, I love pistachios. They taste so good. Every single day, whether it be at lunch or at dinner, I make an effort to eat a big salad. And I also wanted to show you some of the vegetables that are here in the background, especially that zucchini, which is the largest zucchini I have ever seen. But most of these vegetables actually come from my mother's garden. I did not plant a garden here, although it's something that I would like to do in the future. But for now, I have my mother's garden, so I just go over to her house every few days and she shares some of the vegetables with me. This might be one of the last vlogs where I'm going to show you my summer style plates. So of course I took the opportunity to show you because soon I think I'm actually going to switch out everything for fall. 
right here it's funny you can see I kind of change my mind and I switch up the two plates I think one of the secrets to yummy quinoa is cooking it in broth so what I was showing you there were just a few bouillon cubes that I'm going to add to my water and I'm going to let my quinoa cook for quite a while because if you've cooked this before you know that it takes a long time <laughs> Now these are a few of the supplements that I'm taking and I'm actually adding a few more because I'm reading a book called It Starts With The Egg and it lays out a supplementation plan that helps you increase your egg quality and avoid miscarriage. <laughs> So personally, I think everything turned out good looking and very delicious. Some of you have asked me if I make my husband the same kind of food as me, but my husband is a little bit more of a picky eater, so this is why I made him chicken as well in addition to the salmon because in case he didn't like it, he wouldn't be starving. So yes, sometimes I do cook him something different. It's almost time for bed and I'm going to start making the yogurt right now. I like to leave it in overnight so that it can ferment, thicken, what is the proper term? I need to look that up. <laughs> coagulate. That's what it is so that it can coagulate. In the evenings, I always feel like having chocolate. So instead of having traditional ice cream, I have this banana frozen yogurt chocolatey ice cream and it really does the trick. It is dairy free as far as I'm concerned and it seems to be, at least I tell myself, a healthier option than having ice cream. <laughs> I also sometimes like to prepare myself a tea just to relax in the evening because having proper sleep is something that I occasionally suffer from and I don't have enough of and just getting a good night's sleep is so important for health. Occasionally, if we are watching a movie, my husband and I will have some popcorn, just a little bit of oil and sea salt. And I wanted to end the vlog and encourage you to please hit the like button again, leave me a comment, let me know what you eat in a day. And I also wish you the best week, the best day ever. You are so kind and so wonderful, lovely feminine women. Bye-bye.